channel my name is Nicole and today I want to taste some food um I was looking at my YouTube channel the other day just to see what what I've been posting like more of lately and what I haven't been posting lately and I noticed that I haven't posted any food tasting videos lately so we're gonna do that today because I think it's time I think we need to and also I got a haircut. Do you guys like it? Do you guys like it? You guys like it? Anyways, today we are going to be trying two things, not just one, but two. We are going to be trying uh, Oreo State Fair cookies that I bought at Walmart. I opened the box upside down. Not my me. We're gonna try the vanilla crunch and the chocolate crunch. I just put them in the microwave. They just beeped in case you heard that in the background. So let's go get them. Okay guys, I just got them from the microwave. They look like this. Um, and what's funny is when I first bought them, I thought I was going to have to make them in the oven like a lot of other stuff. But then I was looking the other day, although the uh, frozen video dessert food things that I have to try to see how to make them and I discovered that these little bad boys can be cooked either in a conventional oven or in a microwave so guess what I took the easy way and I microwaved them I said to microwave them for 30 seconds so I did and this is what they look like this is the vanilla and this is the chocolate and I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna come out and say this. This looks like a chicken nugget. I mean, it looks like a perfectly round chicken nugget. And I ain't mad about that because I like I like chicken nuggets. So um first things first, it doesn't feel really hot. Um, maybe like the part that was on the plate, but otherwise for the most part it doesn't feel hot. Um so let's try this. I'm gonna try the vanilla one first. And also, by the way, I've just been to two fairs, as you can tell from my previous videos. Um, but I have not tried deep fried Oreos for the specific reason. So, let's do this. There's definitely a crunchiness to it. But I think that's like the Oreo itself. I mean, it's delicious. That is what it looks like. I didn't take like a huge, huge bite. I mean, it tastes good. It's got like a weird texture because of the Oreo. Like, you know when you like bite into a regular Oreo, how like the cookie part is hard? Well now, I don't want to say it feels hard but it just, it's not mush, but it's not hard. It's like in between kind of, sort of. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Like, it's still kind of hard, but not as hard, but it's still very delicious. Very delicious. Okay. Before I eat the entire vanilla one, let's try the chocolate one. I don't think it's going to be any different. I think it's just going to taste the same. It's just one has a vanilla outside to it versus a chocolate outside to it. I think that's really all it is. This one, either I bit into it better or it has more filling in this one. This one looks delicious. They're both delicious either way. There are moments where the cookie of the Oreo feels softer in certain parts and harder in other parts, which is weird. I mean, I still like it. I'll still eat it. Mm -mm. 
Especially when you get the filling. It's delicious. Okay, guys. I love them. <laughs> They're easy to make. So if you don't want to put them in the oven, you don't have to. You can just put them on a plate for 30 seconds, let them sit for a minute to cool down, and boom, you can eat them. They are delicious. There's nine that comes in a box. So you don't get too many, but you don't get too little. And yeah, I think you guys should get them because they're really, really delicious. Like really delicious. So yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see me do more tasting videos or any other types of videos, let me know what you guys want to see me do. You can either do it in the comment section below, you can tweet me, you can Snapchat me, you can Facebook me, but also, guys, I swore I was never going to get an Instagram account, and guess what? I caved. I have an Instagram account now, so you guys can now follow me at Nicole Miller underscore 25. I think that's what it is. Off the top of my head. It'll be in the links below with all my other information and all my other stuff as well. So yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, again, you guys follow me on that stuff. I'll follow you guys back. You guys Snapchat me or message me or whatever. I'll respond. Even if you were to comment in the section, comment section below, I will respond. And uh, with that, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.